Hello friends, welcome to World Prof channel. This is Arya and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to transform your computer into a virtual machine, especially if you're a web designer and you would like to test your website before uploading it uh, and making it visible to the whole world. So make sure that you click on the subscribe button to get notifications for new videos that I upload. So to begin, uh, in this video, I'll show you two main steps. First one, how to install WAMP software. So WAMP software uh, helps you to transform your computer, we're talking about Windows operating system, to a virtual server. And then in the second part of this video, I'll show you how to install WordPress. So the idea here is that uh, if you would like to test your website, you want to start designing your website before actually uploading it on the on the actual server that you have, you can simply run your website, see and check the functionalities of your website. And once you decide, uh, once you finalize everything, then you can upload it on the actual server so this solution is also optimal for the users who actually didn't decide when to buy a domain name and uh, a hosting plan so you can take your time one month two months or more to actually design your website and finalize your web design and once everything is finalized then you can um, purchase um, your hosting plan and domain name so let's start so the first step is to go to Google and look for WAMP and then uh, you have two options here you can click on the first one or the second one for example if I click here um, then I can download WAMP server software so here the site will give me the latest version usually so I click on download and then you see that the download will start shortly um, so here I click uh, I start downloading it so let me pause the video it's not gonna take that long so we see that the file has been downloaded now now we should install WAMP server on this Windows operating system so now I should go to the folder where the file has been downloaded I click on it and so usually you have two options you can install it either in English or in French I click English and I accept the agreement and then I click on next and usually uh, this is the folder so this is a directory in which it's going to be installed drive C WAMP 64 you need to remember where uh, WAMP is going to be installed so in my case it's going to be in drive C click next so here you have different options, different versions of PHP and for databases you have MariaDB and MySQL so I just leave it on the default installation if you need a higher version of PHP then you can click on the other one but I just leave it as it is click next and then I click on install and we'll wait until the installation is over So there are a few more steps that I'll show you in this video. So now um, during the installation, it, a window will pop up asking you that uh, Internet Explorer will be used as the default browser. Would you like to change it? And so here in this case I can choose Google Chrome if you prefer to work with Google Chrome so I click on yes and then uh, I can click on drive C 
program files, Google. I prefer to choose Google Chrome. Uh, and then for editing any text, any code, if you prefer to use any other software like Notepad++, you can do that, but I just leave it as it is. So Notepad will be used in this case. So I click no. So as you can see now, um, it's actually installing databases and okay and next and finish. Okay, so now we should be able to run WAMP. Uh, so if I simply go here, WAMP server, click yeah, I simply run the software that I install. And you see there is a little icon here that first it turns to red, then orange. And uh, once it is active, you see that the color has changed to green. So it means that now your virtual server is active. Now the second step would be to, so this step was easy. Now the second step would be to install WordPress. Now let's go to download WordPress. Okay, now we need to uh, go to WordPress website. WordPress has two websites. You need to make sure that you go to WordPress org. Uh, org, this is the official. So even if here I put WordPress org you see that in my browser I put wordpress.org this is the actual web website the official website to download the WordPress framework uh, we're not talking about wordpress.com so here uh, you click on get WordPress the, this is the latest version as of today We're in November 2nd 2020 um, you need to make sure if there are future updates. So I click and I download it. So now I should go back uh, where the file has been downloaded. So once you have downloaded WordPress, you, sh you should be able to see a compressed folder. It's actually a zip file that you can cut or copy um, into the WAMP directory. So you right click on it. I simply click on cut. And then I go to uh, my drive C and WAMP64. That's where WAMP was previously installed. And there's a folder called www. That's where I should paste um, WordPress, okay, as it is. And you see there are a, a bunch of files that were previously installed when you started uh, to install WAMP 64. So here, what I do, I select everything and I simply delete the files which were previously installed. I need to keep only WordPress. So what I'm gonna be doing here now, I need to extract all the files that are in WordPress uh, zip folder. I right click on it and I simply click extract track here okay so you can see th there's a folder here now I need to bring all these files which are inside this folder into this www folder so I cl double click on it I right click cut and I paste everything so the these are these are the files which were in the WordPress folder now the the two files here, I don't need them anymore, right? So this is the actual zip folder, or the zip file that we downloaded. And these files, the remaining files were in this WordPress. So now this folder is empty because I tried to copy, or cut all the files from there and paste them here. So I delete these two files. Now that I installed uh, now that I copied all the files here into www folder, now we should go to create a database first, which allows us to install WordPress on our machine. So let's go to create a database. So 
The first thing to do to create a database, you need to simply make sure that your WAMP software is active. You see the green icon, it should not be in red. So you click on it and you click on PHP My Admin. So that's the place where you have to create a database. Why? Because without a database, WordPress cannot be installed. So during the installation process, WordPress is going to ask you for a database name. And if you did not create it in, in advance, uh, you will not be able to uh, finalize the installation. So uh, what you have to do uh, after you copied all those WordPress files, you simply click on this WAMP icon and you click on PHP My Admin. You see localhost, the second one, PHP My Admin, and you see this page pops up. So, PHP My Admin is a tool which helps you to manage your databases. Here, the thing is that you need to create a database on your machine. So, by default, the username would be root, R O O T, and password field you leave it as it is it should be empty um, and you make sure that you choose MySQL for your database and you click go so here now we are connected um, now you see there are a bunch of databases so I can create a new database for my WordPress website because this is only for testing purpose so I can click on new and then I click I call it for example, uh, Aria DB or Aria database, whatever my name. You can choose any name, and then uh, for the format, I should go and select UTF-8 General. Okay, and I click Create. So as you can see, a database has been created, Aria DB. So that's the name I chose. You can choose anything that you want. As you can see, the database is empty because we don't have any data in our tables. So uh, after creating a database, now the next step would be to install WordPress. That's the last step. So you have two options. You can click on this green icon on the bottom of the page on WAMP and you click on localhost. So when you click on localhost here, it's going to connect uh, it's going to show you the files which were in www folder that you simply pasted in uh, the WAMP folder. Another option is just to open your browser and type localhost manually. That's the same thing. Okay, it brings you to the same page. So I choose you have different options uh, for languages. I simply stick with English continue so here you see the first thing that WordPress asks for is a database name it says uh, we need some information on the database so that's where we actually created a database in the previous stage so let's go so what is your database name I put Aria DB that's the name that I created um, for date your database username so you can put root what we had because this is on our machine and password was empty right and database host is local host because we are we try to run this on our computer it's a virtual server okay so root that was the uh, the username by default password was empty and that's all and I simply put aria DB name that I simply chose in the previous now click on submit said all right now we should be able to run the installation so now it asks uh, for the site title username and password so the difference here is that username and password which you see here are your website uh, password your web WordPress username and password which allows you to modify the content of your website or the design of your website so site title I can put my official website anything that you like 
uh, or my personal web page, whatever. And so here for username, I put world prof, the name of my YouTube channel. You can choose anything. That, and this is the password which is generated, which is strong, right? Um, and here you need to make sure that you put your email address. Uh, so here you can put a, your personal email address. So information about your website will be forwarded to that email address once you upload, but you can change it uh, whenever you want. Okay. So here, what I, what I do, I just put one email address and here the last option it says discourage search engines from indexing this site so here if you check this, this box or not that's not going to affect anything because still your website is going to run on your computer you're not going to make it visible to the whole world so that's not going to change anything for you because in any case the search engines would not be able to find your website uh, because you didn't upload it yet. You just want to run your website on your computer for testing purposes. So I just leave it as it is and I click on install WordPress. So I save my password. See WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy login. So this is the username and password that I created for my WordPress website and I click on login. Okay, the good news is that now WordPress has been installed here. You can edit your profile here. You have all these options for media pages. And now, as you can see, um, I can view the website, you know, on a virtual server. This is not an actual, it's on my computer. I'm able to test. I can change the design of my website, see, how it turns out to be and then once my website is ready I can actually buy a domain name and a hosting plan and then I can make my website visible to the whole world so if you like this video I simply ask you to like and subscribe to my channel and it will help you to receive notifications for new videos that I upload